conversation tonight. Welcome everybody to our Tower to Table talk tonight. And you are gonna be blessed by one of the most energetic, talented men I've ever met. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about our guest and then uh, I'm gonna get him to jump in and we're gonna talk about kind of what's staring us in the face today and talk about some solutions. But um, Dr. Stephen Ritz is from the Ritz is from the Bronx, New York. And he found, he's a teacher, principal, school administrator, but he founded an amazing organization called the Green Bronx Machine. I'll let him tell you a little bit more about that in a few minutes. But he's married to an amazing lady named Lizette. <clears throat> and they live in the Bronx. They're immersed in that community. And they're impacting the world from that community. They have done amazing things with plants. They've done amazing things with kids that learn about plants. And they're changing the world one student at a time. So Stephen, as we jump in and chat tonight, I think it would be pretty appropriate just to hear what you think about the world today, because there's a new normal going on. Well, yes. So let's, uh, let's address that. And thank you for that very gracious introduction. And first and foremost, thanks to everybody who's out there. It's so great to see so many familiar faces. I see some of you on the couch with your babies, and I love it. I hope your homeschool is going well. Um, but you know, we are living in an age where the scope, severity, and urgency of the issues we are facing um, have never been more critical and more impactful. And, you know, it's my dream as an educator to see us as a nation and as a world that goes from loving things and using people back to loving people and using things in a way that helps heal each other and respects Mother Earth and the planet and this amazing family of Juice Plus products and this amazing corporation and family, because I literally consider Juice Plus Nation to be my extended family, is really part of that movement and presents an opportunity for all of us to really grow something greater, inspire healthy living, and keep connecting with people um, you know, using products that are clinically proven, data tested, patented, um, and more importantly, connect us with the biggest strength of this organization, which is like-minded people such as Kurt and I, um, and all of you who just really want to change people's lives, have a happy, healthier, more fruitful, productive life. Um, so yeah. these are critical times, but we're getting through them. We're banding together. And, you know, case in point, here I am in New York City and Kurt in downtown Atlanta or beautiful somewhere in the backwoods of Georgia. Um, turning his man cave into a man hub of international and national connectivity to grow something greater. It's so cool. I see people hopping on from all over this nation. It's inspiring. Hey, back to you, Robin. Well, you, you know, um, Stephen, I think that just connecting online right now, your energy is contagious to me. And we don't have to let our energy levels drop. We don't have to let our effectiveness drop. And now that we're in homes and we're going to, dive into what these moms and dads and families can do in their homes. But I did want everybody to know if you stay on until the end, Stephen's prepared a great uh, PDF resource for you that we're going to share with you. And it's got social media links, some of the amazing things that he's done with students and governments and nations with the Tower Garden around the world tonight. But I thought we'd just start off tonight, uh, Stephen, if you could just share um, for just a minute, I know we have um, someone who's jumped in here, and I'm going to. Um, I believe you're worth it, whoever that is. Oh, my God, you are really worth it, screen to screen and corner to corner. Woo-wee. So if you're sharing your screen, it would be great if you would um, unshare your screen. That would be amazing. I think it's uh, Janice. Janice is sharing her, her screen. I don't want to shout out her last name, but I think. Oh. There we Ooh. go. All right. Uh, now I'm looking at a Facebook page, but that's okay. I prefer looking at you, Kurt, and all these. There you are, Mr. Handsome. And there goes the mom with her babies on the couches, and Sarah, and Terry, and Ann, and William. So good to see all you guys out there. So, guys, we are back now, and I apologize for the techn technological glitches, but you know what? That's okay. That kind of goes with the times that we're in. Listen, Things like we're all on a learning curve, man. This is yeah. all new. So we're in yeah. this together, and it's great to be in a supportive community. We get it. So I, what I would love to do, um, Stephen, just to start, can you, some of the people on the line, 
know nothing about the Green Bronx machine and your story, can you just um, maybe give a little bit of background on actually why we're even talking here on the phone? Why are you using Tower Gardens? Why did that make sense to you? And what's going on with the Green Bronx machine in your world today? Well, Super Bowl, we're here, Kurt, first and foremost, because I love you and we love our people. And that's yeah. what this is really about, bringing people together and growing something greater. And literally, that brings me to Tower Garden, because I can't think of a piece of technology that's out there in the world today that helps people grow greater quantities of produce in a safer, more concise, precise, controlled manner, where, you know, I jokingly say you go from a box to a garden in 45 minutes if you're a man and 15 minutes if you're a woman, because you'll read the directions and watch the video. And most importantly, with all of that great product comes all us great people. So I'm proud to be a part of it. Um, I went from being a renegade, an insurgent teacher working with children in New York City on gardening programs and kind of indoor do-it-yourself gardening technology um, to winning a national gardening championship and showing up at a show and just happening to see someone in a corner who looks like each and every one of you because you've all gotten out there and towed your table garden to tower garden to a home show, a conference center, and there was this guy standing in a corner. And I said, man, oh man, I could use that thing in a classroom. And you know, I think 8,000 classrooms in two years, um, as a start here we are growing something greater, but the work of Green Bronze Machine is easy. We grow vegetables, our vegetables grow students, our students grow schools, and our schools grow resilient communities. And I'm just proud to be part of a family and a nation that is taking on and changing the world. And literally, you know, if I were to tell you what my January and February were like, um, between how many overseas trips, you know, I've gone from a, literally traveling about 100,000 miles a month every month. That's what my mileage looks like. Um, wow. I was going through my Delta miles and my uh, Emirates Air miles to, uh, I feel like 100,000 emails a day. But, you know, we put farms in, in Dubai. We put farms in Qatar. We're working with the royal family. We're expanding to Italy. I'm working on a partnership with the United Nations to have Tower Gardens become an official tool of the Food and Agriculture Organization. We are doing so much on a daily basis. And most of, you know, we wrapped a, fit, a, a special with um, Project Explorer, which is on the resource page, which I think everyone should take a look at. And I'd like to take a minute to tell everyone what that document is, I um, mean, how it can help you personally, um, in your personal life, your home life, and most importantly, for many of you, your professional life, because it's a great tool and resource. And, um, you know, to doing this, to having to evacuate schools, to now feeding children, feeding families, and growing something greater. So, uh, I'm super excited about all that has happened, that is happening and will happen. And uh, there has never been a greater opportunity, both personally and family-wise, to really circle the wagons around those we love and what we love, but to use this time to grow a big, strong foundational business that's gonna change the world. Well, Stephen, can, let, let me, you and I um, are busy people and I'm, overly just amazed at what you've been able to do and the and the places around the world from the Vatican to the White House to the the United Arab Emirates and wherever you're impacting but can we back up for just a minute because there are a lot of moms on here tonight that are um, in homes with their families a lot of dads that are home with their families and you know probably six months ago we would have all begged for the ability to push this pause button and just be at home and be still and Get out of the rat race for a minute but what you've done with this tower is amazing but really this tower garden we're talking about has so much power in thousands or tens of thousands of homes around the world today and can you speak just for i want you to take two angles i'd like for you to answer this question first i'm taking can you, notes. Um, can you tell them what the tower garden is and how it works just for a minute in terms of, and, and I can jump in there with you, in terms of what you can grow and what you can do. And then second, I would love for you kind of to play principal here for a minute and act like all these moms on the phone, all these dads on the phone that are now at home with their kids doing school from home, just to tell them for a minute as a teacher that 
appreciates project-based learning, that appreciates how they can take unique things and learn. Not only tell them how they can grow amazing things to eat and be healthy with that tower garden, but tell them for a minute how it might be a great teaching tool in their homes. For sure. And uh, the one accolade I can uh, attest to is that I was the project-based learning champion of the United States for 2015 and 2016 and used tower gardens as the piece and principal piece of technology to earn that accolade. But most importantly, what tower gardens are, are a cost-effective, proven way to grow healthy, fresh, incredibly nutritious food in the safety and security of your home um, using 90% less water and 90% less space, regardless of seasonality. So it is an amazing piece of most importantly, USDA, which is the United States Department of Agriculture, NSF, National, um, NFS, National Food Safety, and GAP, Good Agriculture Practice Certified Technology. So it is proven, tested, and absolutely wonderful technology that allows you to grow copious amounts of food very easily in small spaces. Um, so that's what a tower garden is. Um, for me, it was a no-brainer, and if I had to put it in one sentence, I'm gonna read the sentence I wrote as you were talking, Kurt, and simply this. I've seen Tower Garden expand minds and change lives in classrooms and homes all over the world. Tower Garden helps children learn vocabulary, science, responsibility, following directions for safety, critical thinking skills, and continues to amaze, to me, that you can grow so much food so easily in limited space um, inspires me to take this program around the world. And literally, that's exactly what I've been doing ever since. Um, to all you moms out there on the couch with your kids so well behaved, I'm looking at you. It's awesome sauce. And imagine having whole foods, the whole food section, right in your home, right in your basement, right in your closet, right on your patio or in a greenhouse. Um, that's what the Tower Garden does. That's what it is. Um, I have seen it as a teaching tool on so many levels. But here's the deal. If children grow kale, they eat kale. And when they get to plant a seed and see this thing happen in the privacy of your home or in a classroom or in their backyard, um, growing about 60% faster than it would using traditional agriculture methods, they get excited. And most importantly, if they eat it and they see you eating it, you build it into their diet, you build it into their routine, and you have happy, healthy, resilient children who have some of the strongest immunity systems out there. Uh, don't hoard toilet paper, hoard fresh fruit and vegetables and grow them in your living room. So I like to say the tower garden, uh, it's like having a whole foods in your home with unlimited refills. It is awesome sauce. Well, you know, we, Stephen, right before we got on the call tonight, we got to pick our salad. We, we walked literally from our, from our kitchen, walked past our kitchen table to our sunroom overlooking the lake, and we've got our tower garden sitting right there. From the plant, we picked our lettuce. We felt no need to sanitize, wear a mask, go into the, go into the store. We knew that nobody had touched that piece of lettuce and that piece of spinach and that piece of kale but us. Nobody Listen, else in, in this age of food, so, you know, food safety, the fact that you can grow your food pesticide-free, person-free, and, you know, picked at the peak point of nutrition and the safety and security of your home is absolutely awesome sauce. Um, and for those of you who are at home, you know, part of this resource PDF that I sent, it's just much more than a, it. It has links to videos to parents, and, and I literally, you know, so you could have a video, we have a video that's called Meet Megan. It's a teacher's story, and literally, I'm looking at a couple of moms out there with kids on the couch who look just like Megan. And this was a woman who's a single mom holding it down. She's telling her story about how she's using Tower Garden in her life. And literally, if I could just uh, back up and tell you what this PDF contains, um, number one, it contains a link to the media pages of both Stephen Ritz and Green Brahms Machine. And on those media pages, you will find hundreds of videos, which are really great, whether it's me on Disney or me doing stuff with Tower Gardens or me around the world that can entertain your children. You can send them to clients and prospects 
You can learn about what I'm doing and where I'm doing it. I then have newsletter signs up, sign ups because we are signing up people. I send a newsletter once a month that is filled with grants and opportunity um, for everybody. You'll see right down there, there's a link to the Green Bronx Machine curriculum, which was rated one of the best substantive programs in the United States. There's it's also a amazing, Stephen, that the curriculum's amazing. I've given it to many teachers. Um, so yeah, you know the results. It is transforming school systems and it can basically turn any parent into a teacher at home. Uh, there's also a whole series of videos that are three to five minutes for teachers um, that go space by, you know, lesson by lesson, week by week. On top of that, there's a grant portal. So I'm very proud that Green Bronze Machine puts out hundreds of grants a month that enable teachers, nonprofits, schools, charter schools, churches to qualify for grant funding that allows them to purchase a tower garden. So please download that portal, use it. We update it monthly. There's social media stuff. And then there are some videos out there that really yep. I'm very proud of. Um, that will help you grow your own understanding of what this product is, see how to use it with children, and see our impact all around the world. Well, that, that resource sheet has been sent out to everybody on Zoom. It'll be on Facebook when we're done, and there are some great resources there. I mean, absolutely amazing things. Have but fun with it, please. Yeah, use it, and Stephen is very generous with everything that he shares. But as we're, as we're talking about being in this virus in this situation. Um, I don't know how much news you got to watch today, Stephen. I've, I try and get my information from the news, but I've, you've gotten to the point where it can overwhelm you. So I'm trying to not get overwhelmed. But I saw that there are some amazing companies that are thriving during these times. Walmart's adding 150,000 employees, Amazon 100,000, Pizza Hut 30,000. I can go on and on with the stories. But your Juice Plus company, your Tower Garden company, we have added employees, we are doing amazing, and we wanna support and help you. And I know, Stephen, you were out and about traveling around the world, um, doing some amazing things right before this virus hit. How has this virus affected you and your ability to continue the work you're doing around the world with Juice Plus and Tower Gardens? Well, literally, um, you know, I've turned that frown upside down. Clearly, I do a lot of traveling, but I am not. I am practicing social distancing. Um, a bulk of my day is spent making sure that children and seniors in my immediate community are fed, immediate community are fed and other needs are met. But beyond that, you know, my day starts in the, in the morning with phone calls. I make sure I'm available via phone and via internet during the day. Um, I do take news increments in little bits, and I think, Kurt, you raise a great point about not being addicted to the news. Um, you know, I think there is this culture of fear pornography out there, if you will, that, you know, you get addicted to watching the news. Clearly, it is important to be informed, but the most important thing I do is stay connected to my people um, and to people I love and to people I want to touch. So I'm very diligent about scheduling calls then saving some downtime after those calls to get my notes up together, make sure I'm following up with the right amount of emails, the right amount of information, and really putting structure into my life. Um, because structure is absolutely important for all of us. Routine um, is a critical piece. So in some ways, I'm touching more people than I am at, than I would on a regular basis because I'm at home. Um, but on the other hand, I'm staying in touch with people all around the world. And that's the beauty of technology. And that's the beauty of this business, because you can build a business at home that's going to change your life um, that you don't need to commute to. Um, you know, Tower Garden sales now more than ever are going through the roof. People are going through uh, nutrients left and right. People are really excited about growing food at home. Um, you know, I've been getting uh, calls left and right. So it's an exciting time for the business. It's an exciting time for me. I do miss hearing children and seeing children on a day-to-day -day basis. For those of you who know me well, my biggest joy is to be with the children, uh, banging heads, picking noses, getting dirty. So I miss that, um, but it'll be coming soon. So, so you, you, you're, you're, you haven't been impacted enough that you're not still, you have your batteries charged and you're going at it. And I, I wanted you to talk about one project specifically because not only are you around the world sharing this idea of sustainable food, sharing the idea of our kids, using the tower garden to learn responsibilities, 
to become more effective young, pe young people and adults and, and grow up healthier. But I don't know if the moms on here know this, but we've even done some research on the Tower Garden to back up what Stephen has said, showing that it is more nutritious, it is more productive, it grows faster. And we've even got some research that shows that it, you know, for a family of four, this, unit, this can pay for itself. It can provide the groceries for you to pay for itself. But one of the projects you did, Stephen, uh, that I know you're really proud of is that foster care farm in Appalachia. Can you just yeah. tell them, I mean, if we just use that as an example, tell them a little bit about that farm and how that's going. So thank you for bringing that up. That is one of bar none, my favorite projects of all time. And um, it was the vision of people like you and some of the commercial farmers that I've been exposed to, some of the ACR as a tower garden. Um, part of my work involves working with marginalized communities. And there is an incredibly marginalized community in Appalachia. Um, where uh, they have the highest number of children in foster care in America due to opioid addiction. Um, literally, children who have lost their parents to either death or prison because of this opioid crisis. And literally, there's only a 22% graduation rate for foster care children. And at age 21, what traditionally happens to children in foster care in the state of West Virginia is that they are... They are driven to the homeless shelter, given a Medicaid card and said, good luck. Um, and they age out. And what we decided to do is I said, what if we create a business in the heart of coal country? Um, what if we take these foster care children and create an opportunity? And we were able to get some grant funding, again, using the Green Bronx Machine Grant Portal. We worked with Anthem Insurance and believe it or not, we have built a commercial farm in the heart of coal country where it's cheaper to run it on solar power than it is to burn coal, which is a whole nother conversation. And these young people, we have hired them to train um, each other to learn how to grow food, how to use the farm to build add value products. And we are in the process of financing 21 tiny homes for these young people, which we will wow. be cutting the ribbon for uh, literally this spring, regardless of the virus. So the homes are coming. And these children, you know, I know you have a book called Make a Life. These young people are making a life rather than going down a path that we know tends to lead to jail, disease, disease, homelessness, and destitution. So I couldn't be more excited about that project. And it all goes started with one tower garden and the inspiration of what you can do and inspiring children to think a little bigger, dream a little bigger, and realize the ROI on these tower gardens. Because as you said, um, you know, they do pay for themselves. It is proven that the produce grown in a tower garden when grown correctly, not only tastes better, but it has in some cases anywhere from 30 to 65% more available nutrition than commercially grown star bought produce. So when you think about what that impact is on developing young minds and young bodies, that is awesome sauce. And when you think about what it means to preserve old minds and old bodies, I'm loving every minute of it because my day starts at 4 a.m. Well, actually, my day starts at 2 a.m. I'm sleeping four hours a night. And I'll tell you what, I haven't missed a day of work in I don't know how many years, you know, since I've been taking Juice Plus. Well, you, you're an early riser like me. You beat me by two hours. I get up at four every day. But, Stephen, I'm going to take – I know you won't mind, but there are a lot of questions of people that are just looking at this to bless their families. And they don't know exactly what a tower garden is. We've got this really, really short video that I would like to show just so we don't have to answer all those questions. And then I'm going to get you to tell them what's coming up a little bit about the Project Explore and the. Um, oh, yeah. Make sure you watch that. And that shows yeah. the beauty of what children are doing with Tower Garden. I'm not even in I, that. I, 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 want, I, I want you to tell them about that next, but I want them to watch this video really quick.
state-of-the-art aeroponic vertical garden system uses both water and air to produce more colorful, better tasting, and incredibly nutritious fruits, vegetables, and herbs. Tower Garden has a 20-gallon reservoir at its base that stores the Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Developed by experts in plant and human nutrition, Tower Tonic Mineral Blend enables superior plant growth and better nutrition from your Tower Garden produce. The process begins once the seedlings have been placed in your tower garden. Here they will be nourished with Tower Tonic Nutrient Solution. Inside the reservoir is a small, low wattage submersible pump. The pump pushes the nutrient solution up through the tower to the top. From there, the nutrient solution drips through the central tower using a special device that evenly cascades the solution over the exposed plant roots. On the journey down the tower, the nutrient solution feeds the roots and becomes highly oxygenated as it cascades gently down the reservoir. This process is continuous, providing fresh oxygen, water, and nutrients to the roots of the plants. This patented aeroponic process enables food crops to grow faster than they would in soil, so they can be harvested more often. And it makes Tower Garden the healthier, easier, smarter way to grow your produce. Man, so you I don't even need to see that I'm about done. the Tower Garden and see a little bit about what Stephen and I were talking about. I know that doesn't give you all the details, but Stephen is doing so much with this tool. And you as moms right in your homes, we just ate off of it for dinner tonight. But Stephen, can you tell them a little bit about three things? Project Explore, I know that's exciting. Um, the documentary that's coming out. And a little birdie has told me that you might be um, appearing on our virtual conference that we're doing free globally to replace our Phoenix conference that we had to cancel because of the virus situation. Let us know about those two things and then give us a sneak peek about the virtual conference coming up. Super, so first of all, Leslie B and Sarah, I wanna say congratulations to you and your well-behaved children. If you send me a note offline, I'll send you some children's books because your kids are so well-behaved. So I owe, and I'll send them to you for free. Um, and I get to see your faces. So I always want to acknowledge well-behaved children and well-behaved parents, which brings me straight into this Project Explorer episode. If you go to the resource page, you're going to see Project Ex a link to Project Explorer. Project Explorer not only features Green Bronze Machine, but hundreds of wonderful projects all around the world, complete with lesson plans and activities. So parents at home, it's a great activity. But the interesting thing is that our Green Bronze Machine episode not only featured on Project Explorer, it got picked up by Discovery TV, and it's going to be shown to hundreds of millions of students around the nation. Um, it's going to be broadcast up and down North America, across the country, and it literally shows what children are doing with tower gardens in schools. In fact, the coolest thing is you may be sick of me, but you don't have to see me in the episode because I'm not in the episode. It's simply children doing their thing. And there are all kinds of children having fun with Tower Gardens. It host, it's hosted by Carrie Byron. Um, for those of you who are the parent of a teen or a tween, you know who Carrie is. She's got a, you know, she even endorses the Tower Garden, saying it's the coolest thing she's ever seen. Um, she's the host of Crash Test World and, and, and Mythbusters. So she's a rock star. So I'm just so honored and it goes to show you the kind of third party validation this product has and the work that we're doing. I'm super excited. So go see that Project Explorer link. There are three links within that link. One shows me at a commercial farm. And then there's another link about me talking about the work that I do specifically with children. And all of that makes for great material that you can share with teachers, colleagues, friends, and most importantly, prospects to grow your business. And then I'm super duper excited about the documentary. As you know, Green Bronx Machine has been spreading this year to 22 cities across 19 states. And th this documentary has been following me and the children and a lot of people that you know. You're going to wind up seeing a couple of people from the Juice Plus world making a cameo in this film. And this film should debut in the summer. Um, certainly before back to school to an audience of millions. And the one thing that it talks about is how we are changing lives across America using the Green Bronze Machine curriculum, which of course is in support of a tower garden. 
So that's kind of amazing. I am so honored and humbled. I've seen a couple of rough cuts. People have been crying watching it. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you sing. Um, it's just so, and it's so great that so many of my people and your people in Juice Plus Nation are going to be out there. Um, and it really shows the power of this movement. People who have, uh, who have supported me along the way, shown up in cities and brought their tower gardens as teaching tools to schools. When I showed up in their city, they're going to be acknowledged. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to be a sustainable gangster. As you know, these t-shirts in this time of need, we are taking 100% of the proceeds and buying bags of groceries for families in need. So look good, do good, get your gangster on and wear it when I go live, because I will be going live at the Juice Plus Live virtual conference on Friday, April 24th. I don't know the time yet, but I promise you that this will be one of the most thoughtful insightful talks that I've ever done. Listen, I love getting on stage to my Juice Plus family and revving everybody up, but you're gonna see a very different side of Stephen Ritz um, because these times demand a different Stephen Ritz and I'm here to deliver it to you. My goal is to really be a North Star of passion, purpose, hope, and positivity. I'm using you know, my social media channels each and every day to acknowledge people just like you, uh, today I shouted out April Schomburg from Kansas, who's a tower gardener and a renegade runch, lunch, lunch lady who has 10 tower gardens in school. And when they shut down her school, she took her tower gardens home and uh, literally is growing food for her community. So it's a whole great way to support all of those in the world. Um, I do hope you watch the Meet Megan video. Um, so many of you moms out there look like Megan. Um, it's really funny. So Megan will, uh, you know, absolutely resonate with all of you. Um, that's the first video in the additional t videos that I have in the page. And, um, you know, reach out to me. I am on social as much as possible. My best platform is Facebook because that's what I'm the most fluent in. I'm also good in Twitter and I'm learning Instagram. But I encourage all of you to use social media for good. Um, this is an opportunity to celebrate the heroes and sheroes of our movement, of our world, and of your community. And that's what I urge you to do. And on that moment, Kurt, I'm going to digress a little because I do want to talk about one safety thing with parents that's critical. Yes, for sure. I was um, going to bring that up. Yeah. All right, I mean, let me say I'll... one thing about, let me, let, Stephen, before you say that, because I was going to ask you the question. Guys, there's a lot we can do right now. And... Stephen shared this with me today, and I really wish the moms and dads would listen to this because it is a great piece of advice because we are in a new normal, and as powerful as the internet is, there's some good guidelines as parents that I think what Stephen told me today. I just, I just wanted to pause, Stephen, and make sure everybody was really listening when you shared this. Well, thank you for that, and that pause is appreciated and requires a pause. Um, because, you know, my people are on the internet now more than ever, including our children. And that's a wonderful thing when there's information out there, but it makes and requires that us as parents and conscious citizens be ever more vigilant as to who else is out on the internet. Because there are some very sick, predatory people out there. And my biggest advice to parents is what do we know data-wise? We know statistically that most children are preyed upon when they are using the internet by themselves and unsupervised. And the time that they are most unsupervised, believe it or not, is late at night. Because you know now they're homeschooled, their sleeping schedule is totally disturbed. So you're exhausted because you're home with them all day and you're experiencing a new normal and you're encouraging them to take a nap during the day and you go to bed and they wake up in the middle of the night. And what's the first thing they do? They pick up their phone or their device. And that's where these predators are waiting for children in the middle of the night. So what I encourage all my parents and all my colleagues to do is when you put your child to sleep, you take that device, whether it's a phone or a laptop or a tablet, and keep it out of their room. And you don't give it back to them into the morning. Because if they wake up in the middle of the night, they shouldn't be on the internet anyway. They're too young for that. And that's where predators strike. So. At night, the devices come out of the room. It will help them get back to sleep earlier. It will help them maintain better sleep hygiene. If they have better sleep hygiene, so will you. And that's the most important thing. But most importantly, keeping them away from prying minds and prying uh, predators 
is absolutely critical. So take those devices out of their rooms at night. Put them in a safe place. You're doing yourself a favor, you're doing the world a favor, and you're really encouraging the overall physical health and hygiene of your child. And I'm glad Stephen, you appreciate that advice. Thank you, Sarah. Stephen, thank you for sharing that. I know that was kind of a little bit off topic, but is when I asked Stephen today, what, what were teachers, what were parents that were becoming teachers, what are we all facing in these times? And he said, well, he said, you and I both love Zoom and we wanted to give the CEO of Zoom just a big applause for making Zoom available for K through 12 schools across this country for free during these times. There are a lot of companies chipping in, but he said as powerful as internet is, he said, no, we, we've never had to control it like we have before. And that advice was just amazing. And I, and I wanna close with one more word of advice for you guys. We want to help. And these tower gardens are allowing people to be healthy and grow their own food. You know exactly who's touched it. And we're very fortunate that we don't, have, we don't even have physical retail stores. Our company, Juice Plus, and the Tower Garden by Juice Plus, we drop ship everything around the world. We're a virtual franchise. And whoever asks you to get on this video and just be blessed beyond belief by Stephen Ritz tonight, they can send you a link or you can order a tower garden, get started immediately with your family and literally being eat, be eating off of it in three to four weeks, right in your home. And Stephen, I wanna thank you. Just, I know how busy you were. I heard your phone schedule today. You have people from all over the world calling you. Patrick. And, and I know you and, um, I know that you and Lizette are um, totally committed to your community there where you are. So I just thank you so much, Stephen, for um, being a part of um, this tonight for us, this little bit of community. I got distracted to, to mute some people, but um, be, be vigilant guys during these times. You know, obviously wash your hands and do the things everybody's telling you. But if you listen closely, whether it's the National Institute of Health, Tony, is it Fauci and Dr. Deborah Burks and all these doctors, you're hearing them say, we need to be eating more fruits and vegetables and we want to help you do that. And so get back with the person that asked you to be on the call tonight. For you guys on Facebook, I will post these resources, these great resources that Stephen has shared with you in just a minute, how you can connect with him and all these things that are going on around the world with the Tower Garden. And also you need to be a sustainable gangster so you can help Stephen fill up grocery bags in New York. So Stephen, thank you, Lizette. Thanks for sharing Stephen tonight. God bless and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.